So in this video, we're going to be looking at a released free response question off of the AP Calc exam. This particular question was on the exam in 2010, and it was on both the AB and the BC versions. So this is question number four. So it's one of the no calculator questions. Remember, the first 30 minutes are two questions with a calculator, and then you have an hour for four more questions without any calculators. So multiple parts, but first we're given a region. And it's in the first quadrant bound by the graph of y equals 2 square root of x, y equals 6, and the y-axis. So I've already got it drawn right here. And in the question, that picture is given to us. The first part wants us to find the area of R. So remember when we're finding the area of a region, we want to integrate. But we want to subtract top function minus bottom function. Well, here, my top function is y equals 6. And my bottom function is 2 square roots of x. Now I want to evaluate with respect to x, but first I need some bounds. So it looks like x goes from 0 to 9. So let me make those the bounds of integration. Let me rewrite this a little bit better. So I have 6 minus 2 square roots of x. Now let's go ahead and integrate. When I integrate 6, I'm going to get 6x. And for 2 square roots of x, I can think about that as 2 times x to the 1 half. So when I integrate, I'm going to get 2 times 2 thirds times x to the 3 half. I add 1 to my exponent. 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. And then I want to divide by that. So I flip my fraction. And now I want to evaluate that from x equals 0 to x equals 9. So let's go ahead and plug in 9 first. 6 times 9 is 54. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that as 4 thirds. And then I have 9 to the 3 halves. So remember, that's like taking the square root of 9 and then taking that to the third power. So square root of 9 is 3. 3 to the third is 27. And then when I plug in 0, I'm just going to get 0 minus 0. So let's just combine these. Let's see. Well, 27 is a multiple of 3. That leaves me 9. So I have 54 minus 36, which is 18. Now, I don't want to leave it as just 18, because the College Board, they really preferred you to give your answers in a sentence form. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the area of the region is 18 units squared. And I would write that out on my paper. So that'll be the answer for part A. Let's move on to B. So B says write, but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line y equals 7. So let's try to draw a picture of that. Here's my region again. And there's the line y equals 7. So y equals 6. Here's my region, just upside down. So. You can see I kind of have this volcano looking thing that has a cylinder cut out in the middle of radius 1. Let me give myself a little bit more room. Keep that for later. OK, so remember when we're rotating functions around axes that we want to think about like integrating area. So area of a circle is pi r squared. So we're definitely going to want a pi as a constant in front of our integral. And now we're rotating about y equals 7. So, and we have this hole in the middle. So we're going to have two radiuses, radii, to look at. So the outer one is going to be 7 minus 2 square roots of x. And then I want to square that radius squared, and then let's subtract the inner radius. 
Well, I'm looking at 7 minus 6. I'm going to go ahead and leave that written out. And then I want to integrate with respect to x. So I just need some bounds. And they're actually going to be the same as when we found the area. So from 0 to 9. And since they're not asking me to evaluate this integral, I'm actually done with part b. So let's go ahead and move on to c. So here we're looking to find the volume of a solid that's cross sections are rectangular solids. So r is our base. And then the height is going to be rectangular solids whose height are three times the length of its base. So let me kind of draw that out for you. We can see it a little bit better. So this is my region, right? And then I have these rectangles. And it's important to note that these rectangles are perpendicular to the y-axis. So they're going to cut like this. So there's one little rectangle. So it looks a little funny, but it kind of it rises up as it goes back. So now, first let's think about what the area of one of these rectangles would be. Well, we know its base is just going to be the length of the region. So 6 minus 2 square roots of x. And I know that the height of the rectangle is going to be 3 times as large as its base. So. 3 times 6 minus 2 square roots of x. So let's think about what the area is now. That's what we're going for, right? Well, the area of a rectangle is just base times height. So 3 times 6 minus 2 square roots of x squared. But since these are perpendicular to the y-axis, I want to integrate with respect to y instead of x. I know it's a little funny. So let's look at our bounds. We know that I, this is the line y equals 6. So we're going from 0 to 6. Right, so I have 3 and 6 will stay the same. Let's think about y equals 2 root x. I want to translate that so it's a function of y instead. Let me go ahead and square both sides. And then divide by 4. So my new function is 1 fourth y squared. Let me go ahead and plug that in. And then I have my dy. So this integral gives me the expression for the volume of this solid. So now I've answered all three parts of the question. But let me take a look at the scoring rubric and see how well I did. So starting in part A, it tells me that I can get a total of three points in part A. One for the integrand, which is right here. So that's one point so far. One for the antiderivative, which is here. And then one for our answer, which was 18. So we got all three parts from part A. Now let's look at B. Here I get two points for the integrand. So that's good. And then I get one for my limits and my constant. So let's check. Zero to nine, and I have a pi. So that gets me my third point. And then to part C. So here I get two points for my integrand as a function of y, and then one point overall for having the integral as my answer. So I did everything that the College Board has asked of me, and I get all nine points for this response question.